So when we change this over, we guarantee now the repeating accuracy in Z for this spindle is plus or minus a micron. So it doesn't matter who on the shop floor is measuring tools now, everybody's getting the exact same measurement. I'm here at the Car Fulham Group, we're here in Derby. Andy, this is the Pilot 4, now what's so special about this? Yeah, so this, this machine now, uh, it's still the Smile 420 range at the moment, but this machine now has our Pilot 4 flagship software on, which gives us a little bit more control over users and uh, process control. So on this we can add more tolerances, we can assign drawings, and we have user restrictions. So an out of tolerance tool is not allowed to leave this machine and go into the, into the machine tool. Uh, we also now move up where we have our power clamping spindle, our PCS spindle on this machine, which has a changeover accuracy with our tool posts of plus or minus a micron. I'd like to also note how small that spindle is. That is easy to hold with one hand. It's not big and heavy. It's not bulky. Yeah, for sure. I mean, manual handling's got to be a consideration for people now and also cost. So we put a lot of development into this spindle where we'll put our universal clamping element within the spindle. So a customer's not paying for a clamping element on every single tool post that they buy. So when we change this over, we guarantee now the repeating accuracy in Z for this spindle is plus or minus a micron. It's got power clamping onto any pull stud and we can also deal with hollow shank tools such as HSK and Capto. If with the same uh, clamping exactly system? Exactly the same. Yeah, we just have that same clamping system and we just have specialised tool posts. Fantastic. Okay, so a really, really high-tech spindle. Yes. But there's also another part of uh, functionality of this preset that you want to show off today. Yeah, for sure. This is our full CNC machine. Uh, we're running our Pilot 4 software. So now when an operator loads his tool, we power clamp that tool. So you can hear the pneumatics grab hold of it. This is going yeah. nowhere. It's so that's repeatability. Safe. Exactly. So if you're looking at highly accurate repeatability in your machine tools, we're now gripping this in the same form as you're going to get on your machine. Really important on face and taper tools, HSK, Capto, we're getting that very repeatable accuracy and we're talking about microns. Brilliant, because those face and tapers, because a face tool needs to sit down on that face. It does, yeah. Brilliant. Do you offer these? Can you get this with other ranges as well? Yeah, the PCS spindle uh, okay. is available from our Pilot 1 software all the way through the range after that. Brilliant. So this, again, it's about this system being really modular. It's not just if you need CNC, you have to get clamping as well. You can get clamping without CNC or yeah. you can mix yeah, and match. Yeah, for sure. Let's talk about the CNC aspect of this preset now. Yeah, so now this machine's full CNC. We can still move our axes around manually like we can on all our machines but this one now is going to be operator independent when measuring tools. So we have a, our autofocus spindle, but now we have a CNC axis on here where we have a, a rod encoder on the C axis and our X and Z axis are fully automated. So this tool... We've got has, a complex form tool. Yeah, really. it's got multiple edges on there that we're wanting to capture. And also uh, on the Pilot 4 software, we can capture images of these. So every time that we measure a tool and we want to capture an image, so if you're wanting to do uh, trials for tool wear, etc we can actually capture that while we're in that measuring process. So very easily, click of a button, and the tool is now being measured without any influence from me whatsoever. So you've not had to, have you had to write a program for this? Yeah, well, what we do is normally, you'll have seen on the other uh, situations in the software where we have the intelligent camera that can see and recognize a cutter shape we'll use that as part of our programming. So if you can see it on the screen, we have a playback function, you can quickly play back and create a tool program. So I notice every time it measures, it then switches to camera mode. Will that take a snapshot of your, yeah. your insert on, as well? On the inserts that we need it to, on this particular insert, it was a gauge diameter we wanted to measure, so we used our crisp functionality because it's on a helix angle. But on some of the straight inserts, we're actually capturing an image of the tool as well. So even with a complex form tool where some of your inserts are on a helix and it's, it's the actual form that they cut when they're spinning, yeah. it can capture all of that complexity and you don't have to worry about it. You just put the tool in, press the button, you go. Yeah, it is. So it doesn't matter who on the shop floor is measuring tools now, everybody's getting the exact same measurement. Thank you very much, Andy. Well, if you're interested in making sure your manufacturing processes are closed loop, and you want to control the, the tool setting process, meaning your skilled workforce can work on the more complex problems of making good parts on a machine tool, get in touch with Andy from Zola, have a look at one of these presetters because they might be for you.